Well, I've, I've always known or felt that there was something more um, to light. I was raised Catholic and I despised the church. I was forced into it. And uh, going into my adulthood, I always, always felt that there was something missing, there's something missing. And people told me to go to church, people told me to get a better job. And then when my, my life kind of was turned into some turmoil, and there was a lot of demons that I was facing, Pastor William actually said, hey, why don't you come to church? And I said, yeah, let's go to church. And coming here, it, I just felt so welcomed. I felt so at peace and I couldn't didn't really understand why. And since my time here, I've come to know Jesus and um, understand what it is he did for us with good, good guidance from people here from the church, stuff that I researched and just my own uh, reflection. I, it came to me and I now, I talk to him daily and I'm still getting to know him. I don't know him as well as I want to, but um, it's a journey that I'm eager to go forward. Okay, well, my name is Gina Davis. Well, it's been a kind of a long struggle for me. Um, it started like two years ago with Pastor William talking to me. Like almost every day I would see him and he was just my friend. Well, he still is my friend. And talking to me about church and God and how I could do so much better with my life and that there's people out here that care about me. And so I've been clean almost four months on the 7th. And I think I was about two days clean when I first came here and I was scared. I was really scared to come to church because I thought, you know, there's nobody at church like me who, you know, I don't, I didn't want to be judged or anything like that. And I was really nervous. And when I walked in, in to church and nobody looked at me all crazy and people kept coming up to me and introducing themselves. And I have just had one good experience after another. And I thank God for that. Because if I didn't step into this church, I don't I don't know where I'd be right now, whether I would still be using and I don't I don't want to be that person. I want I I am so thankful. I sat on my porch the other night and I talked to God. And it it just felt amazing to to me, it feels like there's like this huge weight lifted off of me that I've been carrying around for years. And so that's how I got here. Well, pretty much before we were going to church, we were still praying. So pretty much praying uh, about when my that started to happen good. Like good things started to happen. What was the question again? <laughs> Done some miracles like, um, well, people have stepped in our life. Well, most most of my uh, my time, especially like growing up in like my uh, like younger child years and like early teens, um, I like went uh, in and in and out of church with my family, and uh, I didn't really exactly have like a really established relationship with Christ quite yet. Um, I was still like learning the Word. I didn't really have a relationship, so up until like a year or so ago, I. I didn't really have like a real strong connection with with Christ or a relationship at all. Um, I went down like a really like kind of spiritual depression, if, if I'm being honest, up until uh, Christmas this time when I had a, an awakening uh, when I was with my parents and friend and their friends. 
which I'm very grateful for because it really reawakened my in establishment and faith with Christ. And now I am much happier, have a much better relationship with him. And I am very happy with my walk so far. My name is Thomas Howell, and the story of my relationship with Jesus started in a jail cell. Um, I had done time in one county and got transferred to do time in another county, and uh, I was bored, so I, I picked up the book and I started reading. And something told me in my heart that just strum the pages. In, in land, and it was a night before I was getting released. I said, now mind you, this is the night before I eat. Next morning, I'm getting out at 6 a.m. And the finger landed on, do not be anxious for tomorrow, for tomorrow is anxious for itself. I'll never forget that moment. And later in life, I cried out, to God, I didn't know what else to do. And, um, I know exactly to this day exactly where I was and the curb that I was sitting on. And me renewing my vows with Jesus is for me renewing that fire that I had on my heart when I reached out to Him crying. I had a little laptop, I was homeless, and I was just praising, looking at the sun and crying in joy because I knew there was hope. I'll, I'll never forget that moment. And I just want to recapture that fire again in my life. I feel like it'll hold me accountable to I don't know, walk that path and to follow Jesus more and to be born again. It means that I am showing my family and friends the that, that I'm a believer, that I am taking the steps to show other people how great my life is becoming. And this is just one way to do that. Getting closer to Jesus. For me, being baptized, it really like puts a standstone into a, a banner of me showing I'm with Christ. I am I want the world to know that what Jesus means to me. I think a lot a lot of Christians are constantly trying to have that one moment when we first met him again every time. I want that every day. I just want that same moment all the time. It's the greatest feeling in the world. This, I can't, I can't wait to have this renewed vow with him and to continue growing and to continue learning and to continue being wowed at everything that he does in my life. Never could have imagined where my life is and it's even more mind blowing that he's not done yet. My story has just begun and I can't wait. I'm so excited.